Hello, Socks Musical Cat here, and I'm doing a tutorial on how to install mods in Minecraft. Minecraft is a pretty popular game. It involves, uh, well, there's lots of videos on YouTube, so just look it up. Anyway, so first, what you need is to install 7-zip. It's a file compression and extraction program. Basically it's like the compressed folder extraction wizard installed in uh, Windows by default, but it's a lot more full featured. Anyway, so you go to 7zip.org. That is the official website. You can go and they've got two downloads. Now if you have Mac or Linux, I'm not sure what to do, but for Windows you either download the 32-bit exe file or the 64-bit MSI file. Now the way you figure out which one you actually need is to go to uh, control panel and system and it will tell you uh, right here system type 64 bit and and so that's mine if you've got XP it's similar but not quite the same uh, but if you're running XP, it's probably 32-bit. So basically, if you're running XP, click on that one. Running S Windows 7, and it came installed on the computer, run that one. If you installed Windows 7 yourself, you probably know which one you need. So anyway, I would download the 64-bit version. And it takes me to sourceforge.net which is a website that uh, basically supports uh, free and open source software so I you can click save but what you really need to do is click run and it'll download it and anyway I'm it's pretty straightforward you just click next a lot and I agree etc so I've already got it installed so I'm not gonna do it again um, so now since you've got uh, 7-zip you all you need to go to uh, your minecraft folder I'm assuming that you've already installed minecraft anyway it's hard to get there through the regular uh, method. Uh, you would go to local disk and then. Oh, I can't even remember. Anyway, I have it pinned so I can go to dot Minecraft. But what you would do normally, users, go to whatever your username is, and there's an app data folder, but it's hidden. You have to uh, enable hidden files. That's ugh, I can't even. Uh, they hide it very well, but you can uh, properties maybe no, it's the same thing. Whatever. Anyway, I've got a quicker way. It's it's roaming. After that, and you're in Minecraft that's the long way of doing it. Quick way is 
to uh, either go here and find uh, run um, there type in start search it's in the accessories I think and it's right there but what a faster way once again is to press the Windows button and hold it down and then press R and then you type in percent app data percent and it'll take you right to the app data roaming folder so then you go here and then you open the bin folder which is where all the important stuff is then you right click the minecraft.jar file you go to 7-zip open archive and it'll bring it up um, I'm gonna like resize that first thing you do before you do anything else delete meta dash inf it apparently doesn't do anything except break minecraft if you don't have just the plain old minecraft if you installed any mods it will not work so then you go there and one note if you install mods you need the minecraft launcher it will not work otherwise I have it pinned to the taskbar but I think it's in my downloads folder or maybe it's not anyway I've got mod loader audio mod those are two important things you need they're mods but they don't really do anything except to make other mods work there's some other things like GUI API and stuff you, if if the mod says to install it you should anyway if you really want mods uh, a good list of them is at the minecraft wiki www.minecraftwiki.net slash wiki slash mods this uh, I'm gonna put this link in the description there's a big old list of mods and all the different stuff you need for them there are a lot of uh, it, it even tells you if it needs mod loader which is pretty much the usual anyway so I'm gonna show a couple that don't really need mod loader but I'm gonna put mod loader in anyway I'm gonna show millionaire and so first of all you need to they're, they're usually zip files so 7-zip can extract them and it puts them each in a folder with their own name oh. Anyway, so now you've got this up 7-zip with all the class files you can see. And you can copy it and you just drop them in there. And it will just replace everything. Oh, I didn't mean to copy this in. 
Copy that in, and yes, I do want to copy that. And then you just just basically drag and drop. And if you mess it up and it doesn't work, uh, well, I can show you in a minute. And X-ray mod, too many items. With these mods, it's pretty much drag and drop. Uh, Millionaire is a little more complicated, but it, they have it pretty obviously labeled. I can go ahead and close this and go back to bin. I'm in Minecraft folder, so you open this up. And there, you just drag and drop that. Then the mods folder, you just copy, and cut, and paste that. And that's pretty much all you do. Now, <laughs> now it's the part where we see if it works. Login. And as you can see, the millionaire mod is behaving normally. Just a warning, sometimes mods can uh, mess up your worlds and hinder performance. So they recommend, and I recommend, a backup. Um, whoa, what? One other thing, if you do want a mod, make sure it's compatible with your version of Minecraft, which the normal uh, the regular version right now is uh, 1.1. So if they say 1.0, I wouldn't recommend trying them out because it's most likely that they won't work or, and may possibly break your game. Oh. So, oh, I want to supposed to break my phone. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, if there's, that's pretty much what you always have to do for installing 
about any mod that I can think of. Sometimes they come with installers, like Millinaire actually does. And I'll make sure that you install it right, but I wanted to show you the manual way because uh, you have to do that with a lot of other mods as well. So, yep, socks musical cat out. If you have a mod that like makes Minecraft not work and you just want to get rid of all of it because going in the class files and removing all that is a pain and you could end up doing something you didn't want to anyway you just go in the launcher click options and click force update and done and then when you log in it will re-download most of the files and stuff specifically it will re-download minecraft.jar which is what you put mods in anything in your mods folder or in the minecraft folder is still there but it won't do anything so this was all this was downloaded just now as you can see so it's brand new and it will work just like uh, all minecraft should now I'm really done.